as Ellen's older sister, I have always naturally felt responsible for her. I have always wanted to protect her from everything and always keep her safe right by my side. But here's the thing about Ellen, it's impossible not to share her. Ellen is such a special human being. She is so unbelievably sweet and caring, which makes her the type of person who is friends with literally everyone. When I started thinking about what I wanted to say in this Maid of Honor speech, I tried for months to think about a moment that conveyed Ellen's essence. But here's the thing, how can you isolate one memory of someone when literally almost every memory you have includes them? So instead, I decided I wanted to tell you all something I've never told anyone. I can't tell you how many times growing up that I would wish that I could be more like Ellen. The truth is, is that the older sister is supposed to be the role model, but in so many ways, Ellen was mine. When I was thinking about what to say about Danny today, one word kept coming back to me over and over again, selfless. From enlisting in the Marines to protect his country and having his heart set on it at a very early age, to joining the Waltham Fire Department to continue serving his community, that's why I'm so glad he met someone so great as Ellen to share his life with. I got the opportunity to know Ellen pretty well when Danny and I lived together in Watertown. Ellen is extremely kind, caring, lighthearted, and funny. Ellen, you look beautiful tonight. And I'm so glad that I can say today that I finally have the sister that I wanted all those years ago. <laughs> For anyone who does not know, Ellen and Danny fell in love in a hopeless place. And I don't mean that metaphorically. The boathouse here in Falmouth is the definition of a hopeless place. <laughs> the weekend that Ellen and Danny met, Ellen wasn't even supposed to be in the Cape. It took hours of me and Grace convincing her that day to come to the Cape, and she finally caved and came. And that's the night she met Danny. So against all odds, four years ago, in the dark shadows of the boathouse. <laughs> Ellen and Danny met and talked all night and have been inseparable ever since. Now the word inseparable may sound cliche, but Ellen and Danny really are. I remember when they first started dating, they couldn't keep their hands off each other. They always had to be touching, whether it was their extravagant embraces every time they saw each other, or it was Ellen finding any excuse to sit on daddy's <laughs> to say their interactions were public displays of affection is an understatement, but we know their love was the real deal when that honeymoon phase never ended. Hi Daniel, take you Alan to be my wife. I promise to be true to you in good times and in bad, sickness and in health, to love you and honor you all the days of my life. Hi, Ellen, take you Daniel to be my husband. I promise to be true to you in sickness and in health, to love you and honor you all the days of my life. I want to talk about what it was like growing up behind Danny. I was two years behind in school. Just everyone I met who had already met Danny, they just immediately respected me just because I was his brother. Um, they thought if I was going to be anything like him, that I would be this awesome person. And I don't think that's changed since then. I think since then he's gotten even more respect from more people. He's had a really positive impact on my life and I think a lot of other people's lives as well. And Ellen, I know that he'll continue to have a positive impact on your life. You got yourself a great guy, as great as he is though. I know he's lucky to have you too. We all love you. Couldn't be happier welcome to the family. And uh, to that, I just want to say congrats to Danny and Ellen. I'd like to recognize Ellen's mom, who passed away on January of 2017. I'm sure Mary's looking down at Ellen and all of us with a big smile. Maintaining a healthy marriage is the key to a happy life. The maintenance is the hard part, but as the saying goes, as wine improves with time, so too does a great marriage. We've always hoped that Ellen would find someone that can keep up with her, someone who challenges her. 
makes her laugh, enjoys the same things she does, and just loves her for her. You're a true gentleman, and we have no doubt you'll make a wonderful husband. We wish you a lifetime of happiness. May the road be long and the party never end. Cheers.